the legal system did not work, be it Finland, Sweden, or uh, uh, in some way Germany. Yeah, not in some way, because when when Jutta Rabe made the metal uh, proofs and, and could prove that the visor was blown off by bombs, uh, we started to, 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 to make an, um, oh, what is in English, uh, um, a report to the uh, prosecutor in Germany, a special prosecutor for sea, crimes on sea, uh, and uh, he started to work, but suddenly he, he got taken away, made career, another guy came, and the cover-up started and nothing happened. Hmm. Uh, and even in France, I, I took the litigation for those thousand victims, victims to France because I wanted to get as far away as possible from Sweden and, and Estonia and Finland. Yes. And and uh, the, the France, uh, French authorities interfered directly from the first day uh, with that litigation and put a prosecutor into the case in spite it was not, not a criminal case. Hmm. And and uh, up to this day, uh, we, we never get a litigation in Paris. They postponed it, postponed, and now in November, everything is dead because nothing happened. Yes. And we, we, we had, had not one day where we, in, in France where we really uh, uh, started to discuss who is responsible for the sinking of Estonia. It was only formal questions and nothing more, and cost a lot of money, and nothing came out. Hmm. So how is it possible that you can coordinate... Uh, the, the journalists, scientists, and 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 judges uh, uh, in in all those countries, uh, and even lawyers, uh, uh, who who is that working? How is that possible? There must be a network yes. working very well, being very well established since long time ago. It's a it's a global network, right? That reach yes. uh, have 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 its tentacles in all the countries. Exactly. Yes. The, it was very interesting when when Jutarava and I had a phone call once, uh, and, and about one hour she got a phone call from a German secret service guy, uh, Bundesnachrichtendienst, and he uh, said exactly uh, what we have talked about uh, to um, make her scare, and said, I know you have a kid, and so on. And if you, you you can flu to ever whatever country on the world you want, we will always get you. Oof, my God. <laughs> yeah. uh, but she, she was brave and, and uh, did, did not react mm. as, as the German Secret Service wanted to react. Yes. Uh, yes. But that, that shows yeah. uh, how, how they think they can act globally, and that's totally correct. They do that. Yes, of course. I mean, w when we look at it, this looks like a kind of a, a military operation in a way as well. We talked about that. And, and and of course we know that Sweden has been involved in in NATO. Uh, allegedly, you know, Sweden has always been a, a neutral country, quote unquote. Yeah, that's right? ridiculous. Yes, yeah. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. So, but but what what if we talk about, for instance, uh, let's say those who could keep uh, keep a lid on things here in Sweden? What about the 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 those who call the the Swedish Board of Psychological Defense? Could they have anything to do with this at all? Yes. Um they are one part of, 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 of this spider web, as David, uh, David Icke calls it. Um, uh, that, that is uh, the, the, the uh, departments for psychological warfare. Uh, they play a very important role, and especially in Sweden since World War II, uh, they play a role uh, for the internal censorship of, of the media, because a lot of important German, uh, Swedish journalists are... In, in, in this uh, uh, Department for Psychological Warfare. Hmm. Really? And uh, the, the, their task is, is, is to make brainwash and disinformation. Yes, indeed. Um, if we talk about some of the people that were on the commission who were uh, examining the, the, the MS Estonia, the sinking of MS Estonia, uh, do you remember any names of people who were on the, that, the, the commission? Yeah, the first guy, uh, chief of commission, was the Estonian Andy Meister. He uh, left that commission and later wrote a book uh, revealing a lot of, of scandals and, 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 and showing that, that he was not comfort being forced to lie. And uh, in, in Sweden, uh, they had the guy Olaf Forsberg, uh, who was coming from the military. He, he was in the legal department for, for the militaries. Um, 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 uh, and um, uh, he was officially uh, found with a lie, mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, then got sacked. Uh,
rumors say the Americans were not content with his cover-up, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. And um, interestingly, uh, uh, shortly after he was officially kicked because he lied, he got one of the highest uh, uh, posts as a judge in 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 in, in Stockholm. There we go. Yeah, and and I had a case uh, where he was a judge, and and uh, I said I don't want to have this guy because I, I made a, a, poli a police um, report on him, and and uh, tried to get him um, uh, yeah, imprisoned, and uh, therefore I, I I fear that he is not neutral. Yes. But uh, nothing happened. He still, well, the, the, the other judges did not react and said, no, no, there's no risk that he's not neutral. Hmm. What, what about uh, uh, Mona Salin and her role in all this? Oh, she is also one part of the big cover-up. And interestingly, she is a Bilderberger. Yes, indeed. Uh, and um, exactly that uh, year, 95, she attended. That, uh, that was after the Estonia. It was... Estonia sank September 94, and the next Bilderberg meeting was 95, and then Mona Salin showed up. Yes. <laughs> and <clears throat> she, she is a puppet of the Americans. Hmm. So I look to the Swedish politics now, and even German, not to the parties, but are they puppets to the United States? And those forces uh, speak, are they Bilderberg, as Karl Bildt, yeah. who was in, in, in charge as a prime minister when the Estonia sank? Or are, are they for Sweden, for example, as Jöran Persson? He never was a Bilderberg, and he tried a lot to get the truth uh, coming up in the Estonia case. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Because he was the guy who picked Peter Ern, the, the chief of the Red Cross in Sweden, for the commission. They, they had a, a special commission for, for, for the Estonia, and uh, Peter Ern was very brave, and he said in his commission report, we have to do everything to get up the corpses. Yes. That means the truth is coming up because a lot of corpses are heavily damaged by, by the explosives. Hmm. And um, uh, th this was really a coup. Uh, uh, and, and I was very happy that this happened. It was in, in, in November 98. And said to, to, to my friends, oh, now really we have a breakthrough. About three hours later, uh, after the official statement from, from this uh, Swedish commission, which Jöran Persson, the prime minister, had ordered and Peter Ern was the chief, uh, I heard on the radio that Bill Clinton phoned to Jöran Persson uh, in connection with the Iraq crisis. Uh, Iraq crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly after that, uh, Mona Salin announced oh, we give a damn shit on what Peter Ern, our own commission man, uh, recommended, uh, the corpses stay where they are beneath the water. Hmm. And uh, we heard later on by people from the foreign department, this telephone call was not connected to Iraq. So you can guess what it has been. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's very interesting. And I mean... Um, I mean, ov overall, if we think of it, do you, do you think that this is a is this a big event in the, in that sense that this was, you know, some highly sensitive information here or material here, or is this just a kind of a small event that that went a little bit astray, and but but the big event, so to speak, actually arise when the cover up process begins, and consequently, this is a way for us to kind of uh, also discover that there is this net network working very hard to suppress information about it. What do you think? Um, this this mad network is almost undetected and very valuable for those who, who are holding the strings. So they would never sacrifice it if it wouldn't be an important question. Yes. And and that leads to the conclusion that there must have been something important with the sinking of the Estonia. And uh, otherwise they, they would not have... Uh, um, 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 jeopardized uh, the, this network because uh, now uh, you, you can 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 uh, you have a good proof the Estonia case is the first time a good proof of the world conspiracy from the case and not from the theory yes and what about you know again if we talk about and compare it with uh, things like 911 and 77 uh, what are some other things you'd like to address regarding those issues and and, and the similarities between these events 
Yeah, we already spoke about the exercises, mm. uh, and <clears throat> uh, in 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 seven seven and nine eleven, a lot of the cameras were switched off. The surveillance cameras. London is full with them, but exactly uh, those cameras being interesting were switched off. And in nine eleven, towards the Pentagon on this gasoline station, uh, the, the FBI confiscated. Uh, w what uh, the, the cameras uh, from this uh, gasoline station filmed. Yes. And in uh, the Estonia case, it is a similarity because um, in the official report, you have the so-called plots from all the ships around the Estonia because they were plotted from a Finnish radar, sta ra radar station from the Finnish coast. Uh, so the, you can see all the other ships, what they did, closely before the sinking, when the sinking went on, and after the sinking of the Estonia. And the only plot which is missing is from the Estonia. So this is not a camera, but it is a radar station, but that is uh, principally technically the same as a camera. Mm -hmm. So this was also confiscated or switched off for the Estonia only. And, and there you have another similarity. Yes. Um, and 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 uh, the the third similarity, which is very revealing, that uh, uh, they are directly after it's happening, coming with a culprit and a cover story. Yes. When I saw the first pictures on 9/11, Jutta Rabe found me and said, "Henning, a switch on television. The Americans start World War III." Hmm. Uh, it was about a quarter past four our time. That, that means it had been a short time on television. They already said, our initiated circles in Washington say it must have been Osama bin Laden. Hmm, yes. And I already at that moment said, okay, then it was themselves. <laughs> if they so quickly can point out somebody else, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are uh, um, 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 the culprits themselves. Exactly. And, and uh, an uh, same, same thing applies there in a way. And we look at the media, they were reporting a little bit on on you know some of the eyewitnesses that they were talking about explosions you know and this is just a couple of hours after it, it happened when they were talking with firemen and policemen and so forth mm. but then after a while uh, i don't know how many hours but you know basically every media outlet begins to recycle the same story over and over and over again and nothing new yeah. can kind of come in, in into that realm so to speak yeah and and that they uh, prefer to quote official sources yes If it's officially, then it's good, then it must be right. Yeah. And in the Estonia case, it was so that the Bilderberger Karl Bildt, who is now a, a foreign minister, unfortunately, in Sweden, yes. uh, because they always like to take the same puppets again and again, and uh, he was prime minister at that time when the Estonia sank. And uh, he got early that day... Uh, uh, already out with the information, oh, you must weld all the bow visors that they are not uh, able to get opened uh, anymore from the other vessels because it must have been the bow visor causing the, the catastrophe. Yes. And, and he, he uh, made the pressure on the Swedish Maritime Administration that they should went out with this story. Hmm. And uh, how could Carl build so quickly? Uh, not even half day was uh, had been, had passed. Know what happened? Yeah, exactly. It's totally impossible. Hmm. It's the same story over and over again. I'm also I'm I'm also thinking about the fact that uh, in in 9/11, I mean, they were hauling away right all the iron, uh, the the. Uh, All the, the the structures the basically the rubble they were and and they were trying to cover I mean Oklahoma I think it was they were covering up that with the concrete as well and that's yeah. another kind of a similar thing that they were trying to do here cover up the entire hole in concrete you know yeah that's that's right uh, to destroy evidence uh, the the commission uh, uh, the Swedish commission uh, par, uh, they, they were, were responsible for the technical research. Uh, they uh, uh, fished up um, uh, the 